Guys, we did it. 30,000 subscribers. Ever since I was in literally third grade, for whatever reason, I wanted specifically 30,000 subscribers. All right, guys. Well, now that I have 30K, I want to explain the crazy story of how I got here. So definitely make sure to watch the whole video. Trust me, I don't think you'll regret it. And let's begin. So I actually started YouTube, not on YouTube. <laughs> that makes sense. I started content creation in general on my blog. That's right. Your boy used to be a blog. So I blogged on a website called WordPress. It was like a website creation tool. I wanted to become like a professional author originally before I saw the um, employment opportunities in that field. <laughs> but I loved writing. So I just wrote about anything I wanted, the vacations I went on, the games I was playing, pretty much just anything I wanted to. I think one of the biggest things about YouTube is simply just persistence. It's just uploading over and over again until you reach your goals. Just make videos and make each video better than the last and you're going to gain supporters and subscribers. Problem is you have to upload in most cases hundreds of videos to get anywhere. Obviously, special YouTubers with absolutely incredible production value They'll have to upload less. But regardless of what it is, you have to spend an insane amount of time making videos. So my blog and the 200 articles I wrote on it, which were probably over 100,000 words, it gave me the discipline and the persistence to do YouTube. And I think without that blog, there is no way I would have been able to get this far. Then in about 2019, I made the switch to YouTube. Essentially, the platform I was using and websites in general, it's not a good route to gain an audience. A website is mainly meant for just delivering information to people. It's not there for building an audience that like checks your website frequently. That's just really not a thing anymore. So due to that, I switched to YouTube. And the thing is that I'd actually been using YouTube and this channel. I'd been using my YouTube channel as a supplement for my blog, meaning that I'd like make videos on this channel simply to elaborate on things I'd made on the blog. So when I switched over to YouTube, this channel had about like 40 subscribers, I'd say. And I pretty much just uploaded about anything I wanted, very, very scattered content until I originally found Skyblock. And I just really liked the game. It was very fun and it was quarantine. I didn't really have that much better stuff to do at that point. It was just really just sitting at home. So I grinded until about 1.7K and then came the first like canon event, you could say, of this channel which was getting my Hyperion scammed. So if you're not an OG viewer, which I guess most of you aren't going to be, if you do not know, when I was at 1.7K, one of my longtime friends scammed my Hyperion. Um, I gave it to him to borrow and he just ignore added me, never saw him again. I really like, I thought my channel was kind of over at that point because I'd final bought a content around this sword, but my pure chance, I still cannot believe like this series of events happened. Toadstar Zero, that's right. The YouTuber Toadstar Zero bought my Hyperion. <laughs> and it also resulted in a video on his main channel talking about the situation. And that video got over 50,000 views. So this really gave me like a kickstart opportunity. I gained about 500 subscribers directly from that video. And I really, really grinded out the videos explaining the situation and the future videos. I just really grinded them a lot. And the main reason is because the audience that I gained from Toadstar would be like scrutinizing my content really heavily now that they'd Got, I got in a shout out. In total from that whole exchange, in like the first week of that video being out, I got to 3,000 subscribers, which is actually crazy. Like I did not expect that. Like that was just a massive bout of growth right there for me. So that moment just really gave me the momentum. And at that point, it was just a grind. And yeah, I just kept on uploading, making my guides. We had up and downs, but you know, that happens. Especially I'd say after 10K, I feel like the traction of the channel started to go down. And in general, the grind became really, really laborious. So at this point in time, at about 17K, I took about a five month break. It really wasn't fun for me at that point anymore. So I simply just took a break. Then finally, I came back at the end of the year in December. So this situation had actually occurred or started from me losing my Minecraft account. So I'd recently gotten back into Skyblock, like not even uploading, just Skyblock as the game, but it was a pretty, pretty elaborate scam. And yeah, I kind of, I just lost my account. Pretty sad situation. So I made a video about it. The video actually surprisingly got quite a few views. And you know, that really motivated me to start again. So that's what kickstarted it. I made a video 
called playing Hypixel Skyblock the way admins intended it. Not having my account anymore, I really felt that was a fresh start. Losing my account did actually help me get motivated again for YouTube because I just completely started fresh, making very original content, not guides or anything like that. Just like really, really fun things I just wanted to upload. And they did really well. I gained a lot of subscribers in that month. In those two months, I probably gained like 4,000 subscribers. So yeah, I did until February, but then unfortunately, I kind of just left again. I didn't leave for like five months this time, though I left for three months months. I know, way better, right? And then that brings me here. I started grinding over the summer. I started a new series where I reviewed people's profiles. I love making that. I made some more genuine dungeon content and soon I got there. So if you're stuck around this long, thank you guys so much for watching the video and genuinely thank you guys all so much for 30k. As I mentioned in the start, this is like literally my childhood dream. I have an affinity to 30k specifically, like literally on my first ever blog post. I was pretending to have 30,000 subscribers. You can read it right here. This is from 2016. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.